Uh, Scotland speaks for itself, really. We, we deserve to lose. There's, there's no passion, there's no fault in the team. They, they were deserve winners. They should have been free. Look, penalty, good save, lost that down. But it just doesn't matter, does it? Because they're going to sack Cottrell now. I hope they do. I hope they come to the senses and sack him and get some money. But even so, is it too late? It might be. Because the players we've got aren't good enough. It's depressing being a Blues fan at the moment and I can't see any light at the end of the tunnel because if we sack Cottrell, who's going to want to come? We've had a carousel of managers coming in and out. It's just. It's just there's nothing, nothing. Nothing in White Blues is good at the moment. Whole club's a mess, isn't it? Everything top to bottom. Get rid of Cottrell. Yeah. Bring in someone that knows what they're doing. And that's the only chance we've got. Because if we keep Cottrell, we will be in League One next season. 100%. We will not stay up with Cottrell. No way. The players don't want to play for him. That's clear. If the players want to play for the manager, they play better than that. They don't lose 5 0 at Brentford on Tuesday night. They don't lose 2 0 to home to Barnsley. 1 0 at home to Millwall. It's, just, it's not good enough. We need to hope we stay up just about. And then if we do keep Cottrell, and he does keep us up, Still get rid of him. He needs to go regardless. He needs to go today. It's got to go. It's got to go. It's simple as that. What more can we do? Cotter in charge. Nothing. The fans will never want him here now. No, he's, he's, not, he's not a manager for the championship for us. Even if he keeps us up, even if, even if he keeps us up, he's gone. He's got to go. He's got to go. He's done. We've had Millwall do the double over us for the first time ever. Brentford do the double over us for the first time ever, and God knows, I don't know if Barnes have ever done the double over us. The bloke's got to go. He's an idiot. The players don't know what they're doing on the pitch. There's no motivation there. There's nothing. We're going down unless he goes now. Yeah, terrible. Two, two, two nil. Cutler needs to go. How do we literally miss an open goal, then concede? Yeah, inside 12 minutes. How is that possible? But then we can see the penalty. Say the penalty, and you think, oh yeah, let's get back into it. But what? What does he do? If he's not gone in the morning. Absolutely, I went. If he doesn't go in the morning. He, 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 he's, he's proved himself in it every week, same old rubbish. The tactics aren't What's clear? Adams doing on the left? I'm sorry. It's so deep back. Yeah, so we're, deep. we're all happy to see Adams in the team and then he looks like he's out of position. Yeah, definitely playing in the wrong position. Gallagher was starved again. I know he's tired. He, should, he probably should have come off today, to be honest. Because and we're look, living in games he's had. Poor Jota, man. And I am, I am not impressed with Jota. I haven't seen him play a good game yet. Jota just running backwards with the ball or, get, or, or, or losing the ball, getting tackled. It's too little too late as well, as far as I'm concerned. Right, when we go 2 0 down, that's when we start passing the ball. We started to move the ball a bit. Before that, it was the defenders or the goalkeeper hoofing up to the striker. We'd either win it to no one or we'd miss the ball and then they're back on the attack. So no, it's not good enough. No confidence. At the, at the end, close to the end, we were actually pushing the ball. It's too late. It's way too late. Lack of ideas. One more Forest away next week, any hope? I'm there. He's not there yet. I'll be very, very drunk. Over there. You won Cottrell out, but what are the chances? Do you reckon he'll still be there? They're keeping him. Yeah, I do want to give him his own. I don't just keep him. It's two and a half for your contract, this guy, isn't it? Yeah. So we can't afford to pay him. And he won't want to walk because he loses his money. It's his biggest job ever. It's his biggest job ever. He always wanted to be a number one. But he's still a number two, but the feast yeah, is tight. He just thinks he's a number one. He doesn't yeah. celebrate. That's the thing. He's got no, no loyalty to the club. He never celebrates with his club. He didn't come yeah. out to the fans. No relationship with the fans, is there? No, 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 no. And today, a fan's gone on there and thrown his season ticket at him. This is all. Last week, yeah, it was awful. But this week, it's even worse. We're not there, are we, as a team? I still ask the bars, you fans. See ya. Oh no, we won't see you next season because you'll still be in the championship and we'll be in League One at this rate. <laughs> Debbie, Dave. how bad is it? I don't think it can get any worse really, can it? No. The performances, the aggro. You're in the thick of it where you sit, what did you see? Well, see that was vitriolic abuse aimed at the manager, aimed at the players. Um, half time, Cottrell came down. Surrounded by police, security. He's had his own escort. Had his own escort. I mean, one fan through the season ticking at him and uh, was pulled out. At the end, Cottrell was sent down the centre tunnel, uh, but still the fans had to go. Had to go at Craig Gardner. He had to go back at the fans, which I think is wrong. He's just he should have just walked off. I don't know. Maybe it was his passion. I don't know. Passionate that he's that they're not doing it. For yeah, us. but don't turn on the fans. Never turn on the fans. Shouldn't do. I mean, you know, at the end of the day, we've come out today. It's cold. 
you know, we, we've come back on a, a, a back of a 5 0 drubbing. Fans have turned out to support the team. I mean, we haven't performed. We haven't performed. We've made Barnsley look like Barcelona. I mean, there's been no creativity, no skill, no passion, Dave. You know, at the end of the day, us fans can forgive anything if we can see some passion on the pitch. You know, I thought we saw football. Shay Adams and Gallagher have a bit of a go, but again... Second half, that was. Yeah. You know what I mean? Too little, little too late again. Yeah, it's too little too late. It's a mountain to climb back. Heads go down. It's ridiculous. I mean, the Forest have had a good win today. I don't... It bode, doesn't bode well for us next week. And I think this is the first season in a long time that I've actually agreed with a couple of mates and said, yeah, this is the season we go down. The highlight of that game for me was meeting a chap called Neil. We've had a good laugh and a joke. Anyway, Neil, I hope you have a good trip home. Keep right on, Dave. See you next week in Forest. See you later.